wish upon a star makes no difference who you are and we gonna get this bit just started now intro Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. Bam! <clears throat> what is good, uh, Great White Gang? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another vlog, Vidja. And yes, yes, y'all, as you can tell from the title of this Vidja, I'm gonna talk to y'all about my little vacation, you know what I'm saying? Talking about my trip to uh, the happiest place on earth, and that is uh, Disneyland, and of course, California Adventure as well. <clears throat> now, first off, for the most part, yeah, we did we did have, have a great time, you know what I'm saying? It was a big group of us, you know what I mean? Me and my, my folks, my mom, my dad, uh, my brother, <clears throat> my sister, uh, my brother-in-law, their three kids, you know what I'm saying? Including my eldest nephew who brought his girlfriend with him. So yeah, it was a big group of us. <clears throat> and, uh, whoo! Well, let's go day by day from like the beginning of the week to where we are now, more or less. So, uh, Monday we get there, and that's our day of, you know, getting settled, in, getting settled in and everything, you know what I mean? We're just going to relax, chill for the day, have a nice uh, dinner with, with everybody in the group, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> have that family time, you know what I mean? And then, uh, come Tuesday, <clears throat> we, we get to Disneyland, total washout in the literal sense of the word, because Mother Nature was not too kind, I mean... Nothing but constant downpour, rain. It was miserable, man. Um, but we did manage to get on a couple of rides uh, that day. And uh, we one of the rides we got on, of course, was Pinocchio, <clears throat> which, reminds, which reminded me of someone, uh, especially when, when they said, I'm a real boy. Some of the homies will get that reference. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> not only did we get on Pinocchio, but we also got on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which is pretty cool. My bad for not taking more pictures or more videos, um, but hopefully there will be a next time where I do go back and I will take some more photos and some more uh, vids of the rides. But um, I just wanted to be there. I just wanted to, you know, enjoy my time there. You know what I mean? Because last time I've been there, I was I was literally a kid. You know what I mean? Um, I think I was the last time I went, I was in my early twenties. So it was <clears throat> it was quite a while ago. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we got on pirates. Uh, got to see Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, what's cool about the the new version of the pirates ride is that on occasion uh, Johnny Depp will actually appear as Captain Jack Sparrow uh, in the ride. Uh, usually towards uh, the end of the ride because there's a scene set up where Captain Jack is sitting in his chair and he's talking to you. Um, so sometimes it's an animatronic, sometimes it's Johnny Depp himself dressed as Captain Jack, or sometimes it will be like his stunt double, you know what I mean, someone who has a good likeness to Johnny Depp as Captain Jack that will be sitting in the chair talking to you. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, man, definitely a, a fun time. Um, Wednesday, <clears throat> we hit a California adventure. Um, kind of a rough start. I mean, we, we got some leftover... Uh, rain not as bad as Tuesday uh, the rain was a little bit lighter um <clears throat> on, on Wednesday and it only rained for like for like maybe like half the day and then the rest of the day on out it was pretty much clear uh, we did get on a few rides there California Adventure we got to check out the new uh, well to me it's the new uh, Little Mermaid ride which I never seen before and thank God it's based on the original 1989 um, animation film which has always been one of my favorite um, <coughs> of the Disney uh, Renaissance animation films um, <coughs> and then after that we got to check out the uh, Monsters Inc. ride which I thought was pretty cool too um, <coughs> and then the highlight of that day though the, the yeah, third ride we got on which is the absolute highlight of my day was the Cars ride I mean that ride is definitely a blast and it's definitely one that I want to get back on again you know what I'm saying <laughs> Um, it starts out like 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 the storybook rides where you kind of just you know you're kind of cruising through and you're seeing like all the characters all the different settings and everything um, and the area that it's located in too is really cool it makes you feel like you're in the movie you know what I mean you get, you're you're actually in Radiator Springs uh, which was which, which was dope um, but, any, but anyway <clears throat> and depending on which car you get in they'll take you through like certain you know um, 
areas like like you might end up in Ramon's paint shop or you might end up in I think it's Luigi's uh, tire shop it just depends on which car you get in that that's you know that it will take you to either or you don't get to see both you only see one or the other so every time you get on the ride it may be a different experience it may be the same experience it may be a different experience uh, it's a bit of a gamble you know what I mean depending on which car you get on <clears throat> Which, which, which is kind of cool because at least you know you, you never know you know what i mean am i gonna have the same experience as last time or is it gonna be a totally new experience you know what i'm saying so that, i like i like the surprise um gamble element as far as that is concerned and then um like halfway through the ride at the halfway point of the ride you end up on this drag strip and it's you and, and your group in one car and then the car that was behind you or in front of you depending um they'll be next to you and <clears throat> it's really cool, man. You get in that, that fast and furious mode, you know what I'm saying? Where uh, you, you see the, 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 the race lights above, you know, the two greens and the one red. They each light up one at a time. Well, first it's the red, I believe it's another red. And then finally, uh, when it hits green, then <laughs> the cars actually take off, man. They actually really go. <clears throat> I think the fastest they go is like 25 miles per hour, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so yeah, you're taking off and then you're literally whipping through these turns and then there's a point on the track where there's, a, there's like these three bumps. So you're literally going over these three bumps. You know what I mean? Re really, really fast. And your boy hit the gym that morning. So I wasn't trying to get another ab workout. So of course I had to hold on to the bar. And some of the family thought that I, I got scared. I got freaked out. I was like, nah, man, I hit the gym that morning and I worked my abs. So I didn't want to mess my stomach up. You know what I mean? So uh, <clears throat> that's why I did that. But then after we got past the bumps, and I know now what the bumps are, I freaking threw my hands up and everything. Like, yeah, man, let's go, let's go. And um, yeah, man, it was just a total blast. Um, highly recommend if you do go to um, California Adventure, definitely check out that Cars ride. Be prepared, it is a long wait. If you want to avoid the long wait, you may have to pitch in a little extra, you know what I mean, to get that lightning lane. So that way you can bypass uh, the standby line um because yeah it's a very popular ride and i see why you know what i'm saying it's 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 a fun ride <clears throat> like i said i wouldn't mind getting back on that one again thursday we went back to disneyland and this time it was all of us together well it was all of us pretty much throughout the week whenever we went to the parks um but when we went back to disneyland we rode pirates again which I didn't mind doing because some of us, I guess, didn't get, get a chance to ride, ride pirates. So went back on there and um, I ended up sitting on the side of the boat. So fortunately, my upchurch hoodie, the sleeve, it got all soaked when we hit the first big drop. <clears throat> and then, um, but it pretty much dried almost instantly by the time we got off the ride. Um, <clears throat> and then we hit, um, we hit the Roger Rabbit ride, which was always one of my favorite rides um, in, in Toontown. Um, but that ride kind of beat the hell out of me because it, it, the, the ride tends to jerk you around a bit and uh, Yeah, your boy hit the gym that morning too. Thursday Tuesday and Thursday. I, I hit the gym in the morning before we went out to the park um, <clears throat> And um, What else did we get on? Oh, we got on the brand new uh, Mickey Mouse uh, the railway getaway I believe it's called or Goofy's railway getaway something like that um, where it's basically a, a train ride and it's not on your traditional track it's on a like like a magnet it's a, it's a magnet that that holds each individual cart because what ends up <coughs> because you start off together and, and apologies for future reference i am going to be coughing because your boy does have a bit of a cold but anyway when you get on the, uh, the 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 mickey mouse railway getaway you you start out on this train and all the carts are connected they're interconnected with each other so it's really it's literally like, like, like a train that you get to ride on and um, you get to see, you know, the all the pretty much all the characters. You get to see Mickey and Minnie drive around in a in one of their uh, cruisers. Not like that. It's, it's like a red sports car, convertible sports car that they drive around in. And Mickey's basically telling the conductor, who is Goofy, <clears throat> who um, actually will open uh, his his rear compartment doors so you can see him through the window. And they're basically telling him, yeah, hey, take care of our guests. <clears throat> Please drive safe and whatever. And of course, Goofy, with his famous last words, like, relax, what could possibly go wrong? Bruh, I even said too, man, famous last words, and everyone started laughing, uh, which was fun. Um, 
and there's a point in the ride where all the carts they 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 break off they they split off you know what i mean you're still pretty much traveling together in a, in a in a collective but uh everyone is it's just separated and everything and it, it gets a little out of control you see donald at one point <clears throat> you end up in this room where you see daisy and she's basically is uh, doing this, this dance choreography with you and the carts literally move to whatever dance that she calls for whether it's you know to do, do the do, um a mambo or um <clears throat> or um whatever other dancing you can think of i'm blanking right now because like i said i'm under the weather so my brain is not all there uh not that it ever was but anyway <clears throat> whatever dance she she basically calls for your cart basically dances in that motion and yeah there was a lot of jerking a lot of twisting a lot of jerking and everything going on um <clears throat> man this starting to sound suggestive <clears throat> All right, Jay, get your head, get your head out of the gutter, man. This is supposed to be a family video, and, and right now it's an all-around fail. But anyway, <clears throat> so, and then after that point, you go ahead. She then sends you off, and you basically you reconnect uh, with Goofy's cart. So the train does reassemble, and that's pretty much the end of the ride. It takes you up to that at the uh, starting point for when you get on. And everything but yeah overall fun ride I, I did enjoy that one too and honestly we got on that one before the roger rabbit ride so i started feeling it um after the mickey mouse ride and the roger rabbit ride did, did a whole number on me and what finally did me in was um we ended up getting on the uh, the indiana jones ride which i do like for the most part except for the very end which we'll get into i won't i don't want to get ahead of myself but um, the Indiana Jones ride, I do actually enjoy for the most part. Only thing I don't like is that the the uh, jeeps that you ride around in they they actually rock, you know, like really really rock and everything. And then all these 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 corners that you whip around, they literally you know the jeep literally whips around, so it's causing you to lean and everything. You're being tossed around <clears throat> and whatnot. And man, I. I was done after that point, man. I was starting to feel it in my shoulder and my neck and everything. And I was like, Eesh. but, um, <clears throat> so finally we get to the end and you see this, the screen where it shows like, I believe it's, is it the second movie? I want to say it's the second movie, but it might be Raiders where you see that giant boulder coming towards you. It's not really a boulder coming towards you. Like I said, it's a screen just showing you an image of the boulder coming towards you. And then right before it hits you, the Jeep literally dips down into this drop. <clears throat> which I wouldn't mind so much if we just got it over with but there's a point where you drop and then it kind of it kind of stopped a little bit so you're like oh and then it drops down again and I'm like damn and yeah that just that just that just kind of messed me up man so well overall man like I said I had a blast um, I did pick up some some souvenirs <clears throat> Uh, first item I picked up, they're uh, Disneyland Resort jerseys, which is funny because we didn't stay at the Disneyland Resort, but um, I got me a Stitch jersey, you can see, my man Stitch, Stitch has always been one of my favorite characters, <clears throat> but yeah, so yeah, it's basically a jersey, it says Disneyland Resort, and you got Stitch clawing up the back and everything. I don't care what anyone says. I love Stitch. And your boy is also <clears throat> a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan as well. So we went to Downtown Disney, which is basically a little shopping center extension part of the park. And yeah, I went ahead and picked up the Nightmare Before Christmas. You see, we got Jack and Sally there <clears throat> making that shape of a heart. Oh. Hopefully someday your boy finds a permanent Sally in his life, if you know what I mean. Just say, ladies, holla at your boy. <clears throat> in the back, of course, we got the title, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, and then of course we got the stripes, <clears throat> Jack's stripes on there. And yeah, had to pick that up. Um, as far as also as far as souvenirs, uh, we were we went to this uh, holiday theme um, shop that they have um, actually inside of Disneyland on Main Street. <clears throat> we were looking at all their, their Christmas stuff, especially the ornaments. And my mom, she was looking at, um, at they, they call it the Mexico mini um, <clears throat> ornament. But what it is, it's basically Minnie Mouse uh, decked out 
in the um in the day of the dead um dressing like she has like the the outfit for like the day of the dead her face is designed has the day of the dead um design <clears throat> or dia de, 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 blah, 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 blah. Try, to, try to talk man can't talk too excited so excited <clears throat> dia de los huertos that's basically um the 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 yeah, theme it's based off the movie coco <clears throat> that's what the movie coco was based on and so um, she was looking at it and we didn't get it right then and there <clears throat> so uh what ended up happening was later on after we did all the rides oh we also got on it's a small world too um but later on though before the park had closed um i went back to the holiday um store and i got her that that mexico mini that, that they call it um or the dia, dia de los huertos uh, mini mouse ornament so that way she put on the tree this year and uh in return she got me i just drank some hot chocolate out of this too she got me this stitch mug you know as a <clears throat> as a nice uh, exchange and uh, i like it man because you see uh stitch's eyes his nose his ears and everything but then when you look at the bottom it's actually his mouth which i thought was pretty cool it was funny because i was looking at this too and wasn't sure if i was gonna get it or not but then we were looking at some stuff and she asked me because i got her something like hey do you want that mug i'm like yeah sure want to get it for me cool that'd be nice that'd be kind of nice um <clears throat> other things i got to see um the last day of our disneyland visit which was that thursday of course the star wars <clears throat> star wars land which was me that, that that was the thing that i had to see um before we had to leave man and thank goodness i got to see it man um you know if you look at my community tab i did show some pictures of that um i took a picture of one of the uh, jets um and i believe it's the pod racer if i'm not mis uh, mistaken and then of course uh my brother showed me the highlight of that which was the millennium falcon which i did take a picture of it's also posted in my community tab as well if you haven't seen it go check it out man it was it was dope man just being in in star wars land alone made you feel like you were actually in the movies man it was so freaking fire <clears throat> so uh yeah man overall like i said man all things considered um had a great time man we got us some got us some cool rides we got on some uh we, we got some cool uh souvenirs you know to remember our trip <clears throat> and uh yeah so yeah that's pretty much it y'all i'm gonna go ahead and close this video because like i said i'm not feeling too well um i have been paying attention to all the things that have been going on in the community um all of the uh the the drama the bs i have been looking at it and stuff um <clears throat> Try not to get caught up in that because you man i was i was having the time of my life man i don't really take vacations that often but when i vacation i want a vacation you know what i'm saying um but yeah they, they managed to pop in say hi to some of the homies you know what i'm saying so uh yeah because man i was missing my peoples you know what i'm saying i was missing my peoples so i was missing all the fun too <clears throat> so yeah and then of course i've been paying attention to all like the rap hip-hop uh diss track season too that's been going on so yeah um, I am aware of some diss tracks that were made. We may have a look at those, even though I may be a little tardy to the party. We may have a look at those. We may not. I don't know. I got other things in the works. Um, been looking, was listening to, to some beats. Uh, there are some remixes that I'm thinking about doing that I may end up doing that won't be on <clears throat> the album that's coming out. If you didn't see the posting in my community tab, yes, I do have a new album coming out. It's going to drop sometime in June. Pre-order should become available sometime in May. So, uh, yeah, we got, we got plenty of time, y'all. We're still at, what, at the latter end of February? So March, April, May, June. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a decent enough window. Um, so, yeah, and it will be available on, on, on all platforms. All streaming platforms and all download platforms. <laughs> no, seriously, it, it will be available on all platforms. As far as hard copies, um, I need to get with some people, see if they can help me out with that. And uh, if I do have do get some hard copies, uh, I will let y'all know, and uh, we'll go from there. But until then, uh, it will be a strictly digital streaming download release. The album should also be available to listen to for free on YouTube because you know I ain't Tom McDonald, <laughs> and it's okay for me to say that because Tom McDonald ain't Tom McDonald. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. But anyway, <laughs> all right. 
so yeah y'all really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog video you know what i'm saying um i couldn't wait to get home and share my experiences with y'all and uh yeah man now your boy just wants to take it easy because i'm off until let's see what's today the 24th saturday so yeah i'm off until tonight and I, oh, oh excuse me <coughs> damn then i go back to work tomorrow night and then i'll be back on my regular schedule my regular work schedule so i have uh this coming monday and tuesday off i know some of y'all be thinking man you only going back to work for one day this week you should ask for the whole week off yeah well i asked for an extra day because uh truth be told uh we one time we took a trip i think it was to disneyland too as a matter of fact we were coming home and then we were having car issues so we had to stay somewhere another night we didn't get home till a day later so i figured you know just in case i'll ask for an extra day off because we were due back friday yesterday and just in case if there's an off chance something we may have some car issues i'll ask for an extra day that way it's already it's already set and my work is already prepared they already have someone to cover that night you know what i'm saying so yeah because <clears throat> i figured if anything i'll probably be back on saturday for sure at the latest and then that'll give me you know an extra day and then i can go back to work at least for one day this week and then i'll be back i'll have my two days off again after that so i'm, I'm good with that <clears throat> so yeah y'all anyway really hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share subscribe especially if you're new especially if you're feeling the vibes here that'll be very much appreciated and until the next one y'all have a blessed one all right peace jason jv on youtube uh what's up with you jason jv what up jason jv just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Badger. I'm one half of the next video. I'm going to say what's up, JV. Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, you're sad, you're sad, you're sad, you're sad, you're happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.